Hello, this is Mindstock, and today we will do unboxing and partial review of this product. As you can see, this is a 3D filament dryer, which they call Cyclops, designed by Ibos. The data sheet includes input voltage. They have two options, 110 volts, 220 volts. Rated power, 100 watt. 150 watts temperature control range less than or equal to 70 degrees celsius timing length 1 minute to 24 hours or unlimited so the maximum capacity double reels diameter of 217 by 80 mm single reel diameter of 217 by 174 mm Bill of material. Now let's see the product inside. They have some notes for us. Hi Manstock. Thank you for being our first batch of user. We appreciate about your trust, Cyclops, and Euros are in the box. Hope you like them. Enjoy. Ibos. Thank you very much Ibos for sending me this product and I really want to enjoy and use this product to help me in my 3D printing experience. User manual. The recommended settings the product description so we have the parts now let's see what's inside the box so this one is the teflon tube Now, the roller rocks on the base 
Let's install the Teflon tube on the cover. Here is the cover. Anyway, this Teflon tube will serve as the way of our filament to the printer. So you can install it everywhere you want. The product has eight outlet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's up to you now where you will go to place this Teflon tube. So for the meantime, I will put it here. Just like that. Product assembly is now finished. I will try to put some filament 1.75 mm in diameter to try the positioning. Anyway, you can use this part to adjust the grip on the roller. So then set up okay then we use the teflon maybe this is a protection i think for the outlet because the outlet is just a rubber maybe after a long time of using this product the rubber will go into the form or it will contaminate your material let's put it all the way here first this teflon anyway is for one uh, 1.75 mm diameter of filament if you are going to use i think bigger filament you need to change the teflon that's it for the assembly I will try this product later and see how it works. Now, let's move on to the other product. This is Ivo's filament vacuum pump. So, you can use this product after you dry your filament and want to store it safely. So, we have the user manual. So we have free three vacuum bag material. I think one, two, and three. So that's it, guys. Then let's open this product. Ibos filament vacuum pump. They call it Euros. We will try this product later and see how it works. That's it, guys, for unboxing the second product. This is Ibos Euros 3D printing filament vacuum. Now, unboxing is finished. We will try the product. Anyway, I will not use this Teflon tube for the meantime because I will just go dry my filament and store it. Turn on. As you can see, the temperature is projected on the top and the timer is in the bottom. To adjust this, just click the temperature button. So anyway, I will I am using PLA material. So recommended settings will be 50 degrees Celsius for the temperature and greater than or equal four hours time. I will go into adjust the temperature in this button and the timer in this button. So timer first. I will go into use only
30 minutes So that's it guys, I will just go in to leave this, this for 30 minutes to dry the filament. Later, I will go in to use the Euros product, the 3D pr printing filament vacuum pump to store this filament. Why we use this product? Because most of 3D printing filament are hygroscopic, meaning when exposed, they can absorb moisture through the air. Now, drying is finished, I just set it to 30 minutes. Let's take out the filament and try to seal it using Euros filament vacuum pump. Ibos filament vacuum pump. Anyway, if you have this ificant, you can also put it at the same time. Screw it on this part. Then now it's ready to go. Just plug it in the USB 5 voltage. Switch it on. That's it, guys. So we will just wait for the vacuum to suck all that air, air inside. I think that's it enough. I will just take it out now. As you can see, it's pretty awesome and it works pretty well. So just take it out or unscrew. After unscrewing, the air will not easily go inside because you have this rubber stopper so just close the lid that's it guys for today I show you two different products from iBoss te technology the 3d filament dryer cyclops and 3d filament vacuum pump euros if you want to check their product, I will put their links in the description below. Please check it and see other parameters and useful features of this product that can eventually help you to make your 3D printing experience more enjoyable. 
that's it guys this is mind stuff thank you for watching